Hey everybody, special day for a level one candidates. Results are out. If you're a level one candidate that passed your CFA level one exam uh, from August of 2024, you want to listen to this recording with some solid advice about what to do now and what not to do now. And then if you didn't pass the level one exam, I have a separate video coming right up and you should watch that one. If you're interested, please press the subscribe button now and the notifications button and let's get moving. Let's get you through level two. If you are a level one candidate, just passed your exam from the August 2024 exam cycle. First of all, congratulations. 44% pass rate, 56% fail rate. How did I get that? One minus 44%. Anyhow, uh, some teeny math there. Um, first of all, I have really got to say, I am very happy for you. Whether you self-studied, whether you worked with me, whether you worked with somebody else, whether it's your first time taking it or your second time taking it or more, you deserve a pat on the back, but it was hard work. You did the work that you needed to do to get through it. And now you're in limbo. What do I do? I just passed my level one exam. I'm posting it everywhere on social media, my friends, my family, um, whatever, LinkedIn, all these forums. And then all of a sudden the euphoria is going to settle down. What do you do? Should you take level two? Should you hold off? Should you uh, send a letter to the CFA Institute asking them why you passed your exam? You don't want to do that. Uh, never do that. Never do that. But anyway, what should you do now? That's what I want to dedicate this, these couple of minutes. If you passed the level one exam and you were part of that 44% that actually passed, then what you should be doing right now is, unless otherwise, targeting level two for the May exam. Remember, level two is not given four times a year. It's only given three times a year, May August and November. So the next exam cycle is May of 2025. You cannot take it in November and I would never recommend it even signing up for it if you could sign up for it for November of 2024. You want to sign up for the May 2025 exam if you honestly, sincerely know that you can do it. How would you know if you can do it? Well, that's why I'm here. Love to help you out. Love to give you guidance. I've been doing this for 28 years going on 29 years. That's what I do in my study plan session. I sit down with every candidate. I do a personal study plan session with them and we carve out a study plan unique to them, unique to their exam cycle. And we sit down and we determine what is the correct you know, format to study and what are the deadlines. And then the candidate can determine right then and there, Nathan, I am definitely said I can do this work that you're asking me to do by the May exam date. Well, you know what, Nathan, wow. I didn't expect all of this work to have to be done for level two. I didn't really do this at level one or it's more than I anticipated. Maybe I should be looking at August. <clears throat> that is a decision that you and I come together as instructor and candidate when you do a study plan with me. Just telling you, oh, you should definitely do May. I mean, that's not really right. And also because I don't know your personal circumstances, but also why would you want to sign up for the May exam realize later on that it was a lot more work than you anticipated but you weren't aware of and then have to pay CFA Institute an additional $400 for a deferral fee to defer it to August or November of 2025. That's wasted money. Now I don't want to deny CFA Institute a revenue stream but you know money is hard to come by and why should you have to pay that kind of money just because you made a bad decision and you underestimated what it would take to pass the level two exam. So Here's what I'm going to advise to you. Don't guess. Step one, sign up with me on chalkandboard.org. That's C-H-A-L-K-A-N-D, board, B-O-A-R-D, chalkandboard.org. I have two different packages there for the level two program. I suggest the premium package. Then right, right then and there, I'm going to send you a thank you note. I'm going to set up a study plan session with you. We're going to knock it out. We're going to know how to study for this exam. And then you'll know which exam cycle to select. And then you go to CFA Institute and you set up, you set yourself up for that particular exam cycle. You select that particular exam cycle. And then you know you've put an, you've not underestimated or overestimated the amount of time you need to prepare for it. That's what I would do. That's a lot safer than simply, you know, signing up with CFA Institute only to find out later on that you didn't have enough time to study and paying them an additional $400. That's my advice for you as a level one candidate who passed your exam in August 2024. 
You, you most likely have enough time to do it in May. If you don't, let's discuss it and let's get you moving forward for the right exam date. Good luck to you. Again, congratulations, and I hope to hear from you soon. My number and my email is on my website. Thank you very much, and have a great day, and again, congratulations.